Hello everyone and welcome back to Peterville for episode number two in our Let's Play series. Our first episode went very well. We did a nice soybean harvest and ended up with almost $90,000 profit. But if you look in the corner, you'll see that I've spent most of that money so far. Where did we spend $100,000 you ask? Well, if you look over my left side there, we added the Mercury Farms workshop and washing station, which cost about, I believe, about 35,000 total. And because we are starting our pigs today, I went ahead and took our truck and trailer down to the animal dealer, and they are filling it up as we speak with pigs. So it should be ready by the time we get there, but we'll give them a little bit of time. But all we have to do today is a little bit of straw pickup here to give our pigs a nice bedding area and we've got a little bit of grass to cut to put that in the silage bunker and our worker we have him already putting soybeans back in the ground on our large field uh, at the income price that that they have right now for soybeans on this map you, you really if you're trying to build a farm and get a little bit of an income it's, it's really just, it makes a lot of sense right now to run soybeans for a minute. Just to build the farm up, be able to purchase more fields, more pigs, everything. But uh, last episode, they were $3,100 per thousand liters, and it, it's still there. So maybe by the time we do our next harvest, it'll at least be close. But money's money at this point. but we will hop right over the fence here. Make a couple passes with the mower, get it windrowed up and put in the silage bunker. If you back up straight, it will hook up if you back up straight. It's almost guaranteed. Okay, there's our front mower. Turn that one on, back mower on. I have adjusted the audio settings and the video output on the channel. It's all, like I said in our first episode, still brand new to me, but we're trying to get everything dialed in just to put out the best quality product that we can. And I really hope that this is it. Uh, it's taken a lot of time and effort to try to get everything set up right because I would like to do a live stream this week but I want to make sure that we've got everything where it needs to be I did purchase a new 4k camera to be able to live stream with so at least everything should be in pretty good quality at least when you're looking at my beautiful face so everything should go right to plan hopefully a little but we'll get it on the way back I believe for our first little group of pigs that we get we may just buy pig food at the shop just to get them started and then as we progress along because we will have to purchase a corn header to uh, be able to do a corn crop but I believe that once we get that, we'll do a potato crop uh, or maybe a, well, my mind's blank, sugar beet. I believe it's sugar beet, but uh, more than likely we would do potatoes, possibly on this small field that we're on right now, just to finish our pigs off with their food. We'll do one little pass through here. I really, really, really don't like driving through the hedges. Of course, as I say that, I do it multiple times per episode. But You try to keep it as realistic as you can, but at the end of the day, you do want to get as much done possibly without 
you know, kind of, kind of cheating a whole lot. But. And I need to check. I don't believe there's a way that you can take these this fence row or, or these uh, hedges down on this map. That is the great thing about Mercury Farms is Alien Jim has added the option to come in and remove all the fences, which. You know, hey, at the end of the day, it'd be great in every map because sometimes you just need a little more room. And it gives you the chance to expand your fields as much as you want to. And, and just do whatever you want to do with the map. I can't imagine the time and effort that goes into modding or creating or making a map, but uh, I'm just thankful, you know, for the opportunity to play these things and just have a good time with it and have a good time with you guys. I was lucky enough today to be in a live stream with uh, MJ Modding, the creator and I guess developer of the map. Uh, I was just viewing the live stream, but we were able to chat just a little bit. But uh, he was mentioning that on this particular map, uh, he's working on the missions, adding more missions to the map. I believe once it's released, it'll be immediate for PC players, but as usual. <laughs> as everything goes for console players which I am it will be uh, you know I still have to go through Giants testing and all that type of thing but it was really nice to chat with him today just just a little bit in, in the live stream I try to watch as many of the live streams as I can on Sundays when I have a, have a little bit of time but everyone's just so nice and I, I haven't met one bad person play in this game everybody's been as helpful as they possibly could be virtual farmer dj goham some of your great youtubers have just been phenomenal and one of my all-time favorite youtubers is uh brito who who does a lot of farming simulator but he's also uh into a lot of other games he's just a really really good guy we've, we've communicated a lot over the past few months you get a chance to check them out or if you already follow them you know or if you go visit them because I told you to uh, tell them I sent you it, it, it mean a lot and if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel or have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see on the farm or in this particular series put it down in the comments I'll, I'll be happy to read them all and try to comment back if I can which shouldn't be an issue with the very few subscribers that I have so it's just uh just getting started and I really enjoy doing it I hope you guys enjoy it but if you do give us a like give us a follow and if you want to know when I'm live streaming or more gameplay is created and put on the channel uh, you know turn on that notifications button I believe we'll get really close to the end before we're full I don't you know probably pretty close Let's see how full she is. Yep, it's going to take just a little bit more to get it, which is not a problem. And one thing I like to do as we head into the silage bunker, if I've got a lot of uh, grass that we're put into the bunker, I'll back all the way up to the very back as best that I can and just, just dump it out till it won't let you put any more on the ground and then pull forward a little bit and We've all seen everybody do it, but if I'm just working with a little bit of grass, I like to uh, kind of start at the back, open her up, let it push me forward, and then just slowly drive out, just keeping a, a low, flat pattern, something easy to compress and compact with, with just a tractor and maybe a weight on it without having to get into, you know, something just extremely heavy. We'll grab this little bit here while we on this side and we'll sneak through the fence row again as you can see I parked our header on the other side of the fence because 
it's just a headache getting that thing around the corner at the entrance I went with a large header because it was a large field but in reality I guess if I had to do it again I would probably go with a little bit smaller header which I think it is odd that you can take any vehicle you want through a hedge row except for a header now there's ways to maneuver it around if you're on PC you can just throw it over if uh, but there is ways to finesse it over the hedges it just takes a little time but if you're trying to avoid all that I'll just park it on this side so we'll get this last little bit in here and try to get it compacted worker seems to be doing a good job on the other field much better than I am at backing this trailer up right now uh, close enough a little bit higher than I wanted it but it's fine and come on out with your glitching trailer get this guy parked up I know it looks like a junkyard out here with all this equipment on the outside but it's just just so much easier for me to to get to it and work with it I you know and it allows you to run over your wind rower at all times but the uh, I do like the buildings on this map I think they're great but for me personally I just I like being able to see around the sides of my buildings um, I like an enclosed building to a certain degree but uh, you know with all the camera angles and everything else it's just so much quicker just to be able to see what you're dealing with and working with I may put some of the little little sheds on the uh, around the map just just something to park it under to to look more real I guess but let's see where we're at I guess I need to turn the help window on so we can see where we're at compacting this 54% so not too bad By the time we get through here, maybe we can change our worker over to another field and head down and pick up some pigs. I also did pick up a Joshkin's, I believe it's Joshkin, uh, water trailer. You see it there on the little small tractor by the lake. Purchased that, but we did lease our trailer to get our pigs. 100%, that didn't take too long. 42000 in here at, at roughly $500, I believe is what it's going for on this map for silage roughly let's see 665 so wow it's went up a little bit we'll get this blanketed where we can get that money coming in as fast as we can so let's check our guy over here he looks like he's on his last pass over on the field which is really good run up and make sure the gate's open to the pig pen for when we get back And it is. We will need a little bit of straw for when our animals get back. So we'll go ahead and grab that out of our silo. As our other helper finished his first task of the day. Draw. We'll get that going in. I'm not sure how much they'll take, but Let's see, he's all the way at that end. There's our pigs, they're ready to go. like we will just have enough money to top off our seed and fertilizer probably enough to go ahead and do the next fields but we'll make sure just to be on the safe side I know the fart well, I really need to fold that up and there's our let's call it our third crash for the day pull up a little bit open the cover back up a little bit now and start filling turn that help window back off because I hate it being on the screen 
although it is very helpful. Hence its name. Get this guy unfolded. Keep one more soybean crop this time. Get him going. Perfect. And let's magically go down and check and see if our pigs are ready. Oh yes. I believe it's about 31 pigs in the trailer. Little black and white piggies ready to go to the farm. Sharp turn coming out of here. I believe we can make it. I do have traffic turned off because these roads are just so small. I think I've just set the cruise here after our wreck. 40 should be good. Try to give you a little look around the map. You see beautiful landscape, a lot of rolling hills, big fields on this side of the map, really big fields, which I like, and that's partially one of the reasons why I went with the big harvester uh, for the horsepower. Um, I looked at some of these fields, and when you think about expansion or, or making your field any larger, you're going to need the horsepower to, to handle these fields with the big headers. So it just seemed like the right thing to do to start off with. There's our sell point over to the right. And look how great that windmill is up on that hill. Just a, just a beautiful setting. It's The map is really... I didn't play this map in 17, but... I mean, just what a beautiful map. I mean, I just think it looks phenomenal. Just even the aspect of that radio tower on the background. You could even see the cables coming to the ground. I mean, just, just everything. Maybe next time when I'm looking, I don't slow down on the hill. Big, sharp turn here. We barely made it. Trailer looks like it's right behind us, which is good. It's never good to lose your trailer going down the road. And as we pull up on our farm, I hadn't noticed it until just earlier, but I did see another little entrance right here that I could actually put a road into. See how sharp we can cut in there. Yeah, that would be nice. Maybe just something to stay off of our field. I don't think you can go. You can't go at that end, but. We'll get these guys looped around, get them put up for the night, and welcome them to their new home. Perfect. Let's get this guy over here. We did lease it, but to actually make our money back on this trailer without losing any, I, I think we need to keep it for one more harvest. Uh, harvest for one more load of pigs coming in. So I think I will move our little truck out of the way and possibly park it right here at the entrance to the farm. Really like the sound of this truck and. My favorite thing is the horn. Pull this guy on the inside here. We'll call this our truck garage since apparently I'm not going to put anything else inside it. It's a great little wagon. Should be good. Now let's get this gate shut. 
Well, actually, we need to put some water in first for our pigs. Let's run down here and grab this tractor. Little work tractor for the farm. A little small, massy. I believe 110 horsepower is all. Make sure not to hit that wind rower. Looks like they may have just left me a small way to pull in. Perfect. Small tractor working out good so far. I believe they'll take every bit of this just a eight or nine thousand liter capacity I'm not sure but not a lot there you go all but a hundred liters excuse me now they are crazy uh, that's one thing you have to watch with black and white pigs is they kind of have a mind of their own in and out barely touched a pig so that's pretty good get this gate shut try to get this gate shut there we go good action on the gate make sure it shuts all the way perfect pull this guy back down to the lake and go ahead and get it refilled while we're just standing here him going perfect swap over to our other tractor here with the straw on back and get a nice bedding area for our pigs okay, he's completed his task one thing I would like to see uh, come into the game and I, I really thought this one would be I thought that the, you know, like the painting feature of grass, I thought it would put grass down in the first stage, but on this map it doesn't. I really thought all all the maps that came through Giants, you know, were, they didn't take much at all. Let's just hop out here. I'll just cycle through to him. Get him started on our last field. I think we will go with barley one more time just to get us one more crop of straw do a little couple of runs on this end just to make sure he's not going to have an issue with that fence just a couple of quick loops one more for good measure I know the other end's fine. Loop it around. Get him going. Well, I said get him going. There he goes. You know they have a mind of their own. Perfect. See, we've got the straw. All we need now is a little bit of food just to get them started. And I did have one bag of pig food that I brought over when I first decided to buy the pig farm. I purchased one bag and then I thought, you know, I, I, I don't know if I want to buy pig food or, or do the crops myself. So just to get them started, it won't be very, very much food at all, but I will go ahead and put them just a thousand pounds of pig food into the trough just just to give them a little something to eat perfect
Well, guys, I believe that'll do it for our first episode. Excuse me, our second episode here on Peterville. But do it for this episode. We've got us a few pigs. Let's see how many we ended up with. 36 pigs. Very little food. Perfectly clean. Full on water, full on straw. And a little food maybe to make it through the night. So they should be good. And as always, if you enjoyed it, Give us a like if you want to talk about it. Give us a comment and turn on those notifications if you want to see more. But as always, have a great day and God bless.